Hey guys, Guy Level here. And today we're gonna be discussing how to talk to yourself and also to your audience when you're live streaming. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a while now, you know that I've said this so many times. Keep talking, keep talking. It's like my my top advice to live streamers. If you want to keep the stream entertaining, the best thing you can do and the easiest thing you could do is keep talking. That way you will entertain people that just stop by your stream and you're already talking so it's already entertaining you will entertain lurkers that have your stream in the background so it's not just your music playing uh, you will also entertain people that are active in chat and if no one is active in chat keep on talking because you have those two other people the lurkers and the people that just stop by so let's start with the first scenario let's say that no one is in your chat you're that kind of streamer who gets like 20 minutes where no one is going to say anything in chat it still happens to me to this day now how can you keep talking if no one is talking to you well i have to say it doesn't come naturally it's something that you will have to practice but you do need to do it so if you watch a couple of videos like that you probably heard people say oh describe what you're doing in game describe what you're about to do this describe all your thought process in game that is 100 true but i'm not i don't like when people only talk about the game they're playing because it doesn't really show their personality it really just talks about the game and everything is focused around around the game i often say that no one really cares about the game if you're a small streamer usually people watch uh, streamers with a low one view number so they can interact so they can connect with a person so my advice is of course you can do that thing where you describe what you're doing in game but my personal technique is to bait people into talking i am personally addicted to people interacting with me in chat and i feel like my stream is not going well even though i know my lurkers are entertained but a good indication of a good stream is when people feel compelled to talk to you to type those words and press enter and interact with you so i will bait lurkers and also newcomers into speaking to me but without doing it directly basically i'm not gonna go like oh how are you guys doing that never works like that literally never works unless you have regulars that all that are already interacting with you or really used to that kind of stuff and know that you actually care you streamers really don't care when they say oh how are you guys doing they don't care about how you're doing they don't know you <laughs> They're just being bored and they're trying to get some interaction. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying stop doing that, but there are better ways. So other than talking about what's happening in game, I will often just talk about whatever by myself. Keep in mind, we're still in the scenario where no one's in chat. So no one's in chat and you're talking. And what I would do is just try to start with the game and then go on like pop culture in general. I will talk about the latest movie I've seen. Um, I will talk about music that I listen to. And there are several points that will make a normal person want to chime in, want to jump in and talk about it. And that's how you basically make new followers. Because if a random just pops in your stream and you're talking about something that most likely they know about and they have opinions about, they will feel compelled to type their opinions and share it with you. And then boom, you created a link and now people are talking in your chat and your conversation with that one person will will bring in more people. So some of those different things that will make people want to share their uh, opinions and stuff is personal experience. If you're talking about a personal experience and you can mix all of them together but like if you're talking about a personal experience you've had with something kind of loosely related to whatever is happening on stream or you're just telling a random story in your life people will find little things in that and those stories that they can relate to and they, maybe they will tell you about their personal experience whether it be it doesn't have to be like alcohol oh i went partying oh um, no it, it can be anything literally anything you can talk about your school and how you used to be treated or if you're still in school or how you're being treated um how you're dealing with school exams and stuff like that if people can relate to any of what you're saying they will talk to you so personal experience is a big one another one is um controversial or unpopular opinions when i know that i have unpopular opinions about stuff i 
always talk about them. <laughs> I'm always talking about them just to bait in a way, just to bait people into sharing their opinions about the same subjects so we can have a discussion. And then little <laughs> did you know, now your chat is active because a lot of people maybe don't agree or they're trying to you open some sort of debate. Now, when it comes to opinion, if your opinion, if your opinion is based on discrimination being overly judgmental um prejudice or, or just like racism and sexism just keep it to yourself don't that's not the type of stuff or religion po politics that's not the type of stuff i'm talking about okay when i'm talking unpopular opinion um me for example i really enjoyed the movies star wars episode 7 and rogue i also was quite entertained by um the solo movie those are movies that are widely known to have very, very bad um, critics. A lot of people hate those movies. People have been online even saying that, oh, those are the worst movies ever made. I enjoy those movies. So if I'm streaming and no one's in chat, I will, I will gladly talk about this, those movies. I will say my favorite parts. I will also talk about the parts where I agree, oh, this wasn't too good. But overall, I think it's a good movie. I will even exaggerate never don't lie because well you can't you'll be caught in your lies <laughs> but um try to expand everything you take a little subject and you expand it like crazy so so far we have uh, personal experiences and uh controversial or unpopular opinions and people love debating online so unpopular opinions are a great great way to bait people into talking to you in chat and Boom, you get an active chat out of that. Another point would be comparing stuff. I love comparing stuff. <laughs> that doesn't, that's very vague of a sentence, but I really love taking one thing and comparing it to another because most likely, of course, we're still talking about popular stuff, okay? Because most likely, whoever is stopping by your stream knows about one of one or the other, and if they know about both, they will either agree with you or disagree with you. Um, if they think one is better than the other and you think the opposite and stuff like that, I really love comparing whatever it is. One popular, well, it's not popular, but one comparison I really love making is between Star Wars. Yeah, we're, we're back to Star Wars because like that's widely known on the internet. Um, is Star Wars in the Halo collection, the, the Halo series, the Halo franchise in video games and how with four Halo games, or actually six Halo games and seven episodes of Star Wars are pretty much told the same way. The story is told pretty much the same way the fact that you have some events and then three prequels came out and then some uh, stories that don't necessarily have to do with the main characters that we all know and love one eternity later so this is kind of i don't know if i'm gonna keep all of this in there but this is kind of a comparison that i'm talking about you take two pop cur pop culture uh references iconic references and then you compare them say i prefer this i prefer that whether you're comparing video games you're saying your top five video games your favorite video games and then someone will be like whoa the witcher is the best video game ever made and stuff like that that happens to me all the time so personal experience unpopular opinions comparing stuff to stuff <laughs> and then another point is one i love to use because if pe people that are on twitch are very passionate it's not only about video games but if you're playing video games use this passion right I see a lot of people in their uh, about me panels, they state when they started playing video games. They're like, oh, I've been playing video games since I was six. And I'm always like, well, who cares? <laughs> but you're truly like showing your passion for video games in general. So use this passion and talk about it. Talk about everything I've, I've just said. Use all those personal experiences um, from when you were playing Crash Bandicoot on the first PlayStation and then you didn't have a memory card so you would play the game and then go to bed and leave the PlayStation um, running and then you would come back praying that your your game was still there. This is a true story by the way. <laughs> and then unpopular opinion, you can say, oh, when I was playing Crash Bandicoot, a lot of my friends were playing Rayman, but I wasn't a fan of Rayman. I actually, I'm still not a fan of Rayman. I think Crash Bandicoot is better. Oh, boom, you did a comparison. And then you continue on that passion, and then you talk about the other games you had on PS1. And before the PS1, you actually had a Super NES. And you talk about your experience with, with 
with the thing you're doing pretty much and trust me there's so many people that are passionate about video games that they will come in your chat and they will hear you say that oh you prefer Crash Bandicoot compared to Raymond but they grew up with Raymond so they will tell you oh no I think Raymond is better and blah and boom you got people talking in your chat you just successfully baited people into being active in your chat now something that I forgot to mention is that um, if you're if you're streaming and no one is speaking in chat you still need to act and and conduct yourself as if a hundred people were watching so this is where the keep talking comes from if you think you're affected for example by your viewer count you need to shut it off you need to not look at it <laughs> right you need to hide it from yourself if it doesn't matter if you see the zero you can still keep going with the same energy and keep talking that's fine keep your viewer count up other little techniques that i would use is like ask open questions but not direct questions right don't say well <laughs> We're going back to how's it going, chat? Because people rarely respond to those things. Or uh, what do you think, chat? And things like that require you to kind of pause and wait for an answer. If you do that and you don't get an answer, it kind of you, you'll feel disappointed, and, and the lurkers will see that. Don't try to avoid questions that you may not get an answer in chat. Instead and just casually ask for a question. I don't know how to explain this right, but I, if I'm playing a game and it's my first time playing the game, I would ask questions. I would be like, oh, can I go there? Can I go there? Well, I'm, and then I continue. I don't necessarily ask it to chat like, hey chat, um, where do I go? And then I wait, because you'll be disappointed. <laughs> you'll be disappointed if you're asking questions like that. I would be like, oh, is this, um, or, or I will ask things that chat can Google or if they already have knowledge about it, they will answer. I will be like, oh, was this made by the same company that um, that made this other game? And we're already comparing stuff. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I will ask questions that I may not have the answers to, but they're open questions. So anyone who knows the answer can answer, can answer me. Um, when I play indie games, for example, most of the time there's a lot of speedrunners that watch or amateur speedrunners that come in and watch those uh, games. So I will ask details about the game while I continue playing. I don't ask them and then wait for an answer. I just ask them openly. And if someone knows, they answer. If no one knows, no one answers, that's fine. I'm already miles away from that question. So asking questions is kind of a form of bait, but there's a very specific way of doing it. So it doesn't, so it doesn't affect your rhythm. Okay, let's say that now that you've successfully baited, <laughs> I love using this word, everyone into speaking in your chat and giving you their opinion and sharing their personal experiences and comparing stuff. Now your chat actually has a rhythm, right? Your chat is either going super fast, everyone is speaking now, or it's still going slow. You have to adapt to the rhythm of chat. If a lot of people are talking, you need to read what they say give your quick answer and then move on otherwise you'll be you'll be like you'll be lost in chat you don't want that to happen keep in mind i'm talking about actual conversations going up like not not people spamming emotes for example you don't have to address that so you need to be fast in order to address everyone to give everyone a little bit of attention if it's going fast now if it's going slow if it's going very slow you also need to adapt to that and be very slow my technique is is search and expand my technique is search and expand and it's also allow yourself to get sidetracked, right? So if someone says, the, if my chat is very, very slow and someone says something, I will take that, that thing and I will do an essay about it. I will talk and talk and talk and then interject those techniques that I told you about. Uh, personal experience, um, comparing stuff, uh, unpopular opinions and nos nostalgia, right? If someone said anything that has to do with anything, I will completely expand it and make it longer than it, than it actually needs to be, right? So that way, me answering this one question or, or just responding to this one line of chat can give me 20 minutes of nonstop talking about something and expressing my opinions. And it sounds crazy, but when i said you need to let yourself get sidetracked is that if you're starting to talk about this thing and then there's one word that you can expand on another category just expand it continue talking um i don't really have 
practical ways of showing you how it's done i guess like watch my live streams and you will see that i pretty much never stop talking which could like that's that's why it hurts my throat in about two hours of streaming but those are my personal techniques i'm pretty sure there are a bunch of other techniques but this is what I do. If no one is talking, I bait them into talking because people are always watching. Keep in mind that the Twitch viewer count, even if you have your viewer count, that zero doesn't necessarily mean zero. I remember when I first started streaming, I would see zero for three hours. And then when I checked my viewer count, it was like, oh, 50 people actually stopped by. So it doesn't update automatically. It doesn't update fast enough for you to know when someone is for sure watching your stream or not. So you better keep that stuff entertaining the whole time just in case because that's how they become followers that's how they become subs that's how they become regulars and that's how they might become your your biggest um support okay so little info i put out a free animated overlay pack um you'll see the video on my channel it's probably the previous video to this one and it's completely free all you have to do is go to gumroad.com slash get level find the pack put zero in the price thing and then you just get it it's animated and then after that on gumroad.com slash get level you'll see a bunch of very very cheap full overlay packs for like 99 cents i'm gonna put some social media up there you can tweet me a message at level underscore photo you can follow me on instagram that's gal.level and on twitch of course twitch.tv slash level if you haven't started streaming yet or if you're using another program consider switching to streamlabs obs i will have an affiliate download link in the description if you use that link i'm actually getting a little bit of money and charity is getting a little bit of money so it's the pretty much the best way to support this channel and what i'm trying to do here if you also want some updates tomorrow i will be doing the second edition of stream review it's it's basically a live stream here on YouTube where you send me your link, I go check out your stream and I tell you my first impressions and what you could do to make those first impressions look better. So I look really, really forward to that. The first one was amazing. So it's going to be hype. It's going to be super hype. But that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video tonight and I will see you guys later. Get level out.